Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and instead of doing a composting video today, we're going to cover planting. So it's getting towards spring somewhat this year. We've had a kind of a late uh, spring with uh, it's considering the fact we've had uh, below freezing temperatures and it's mid-April, but I do want to get my seeds started for the Keter bin that I'm going to be putting out front. So I have a test that I'm going to run to this uh, this spring and we're going to try out some seeds and we're going to try out some different mixes for starting those seeds. So let's go down and take a look at these seeds and the idea that I have here. So here we go. So I have three separate containers. These are the ones that I'm doing for testing. I am going to plant more but this is what I'm using for testing this time. I have my compost from the bottom of my 35 gallon bin right here. This is verma compost. Most of it's broken down pretty well. A couple chunks here and there, but uh, I'm going to sort those out as we're going through. This is a burpee seed starting mix in here. Uh, these are coconut choir or coconut fiber it says on here. And I put in a bunch of different bunch of pellets in here. We're going to load those up in here. And then we also have back here, I'm going to show you here, it's a big bag, just regular potting soil. A potting mix that's from Target. It's organic and natural it says. Well, I don't know if it really is, but it says it on there. So we're going to try that in these containers. Now, with this, I don't want to just put the same seeds in all of them. So we're doing two different types of plants. We're going to be doing one that is watermelon, which is one of my favorite things to eat during the summer. And the other one is lettuce, uh, romaine lettuce, since there seems to be recalls and no lettuce in the area. I thought that would be nice to have maybe some lettuce. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our soil that we have in here. We're going to place some of it in each one of these cups. So we're, I'm not going to place it, I'm not going to pat it down real tight in here, but I'm going to put it down in here. This is just, this by the way, just happens to be a tub that I had. I didn't want to go out and have to buy something just for this project. So I, I'm using something that I already had. Actually, it looks like there's even a worm in here. Surprisingly, all the way down in the bottom of my bin, there's worms still. So we'll just leave them in there though for now. So I'm just making sure that this is nice and broken up and loose. Put that chunk back in there. Okay, so these are the castings, and uh, I can't see where it's well now, but I put a red C on here for castings. Okay, so we're just going to leave those like that. We're going to make sure we've got enough in here for all of it. Uh, looks pretty good. Next, we're going to do our burpee coconut mix here, which I've had soaking in these in this water here to kind of loosen it up and everything so we can make sure we fill these up. And these are, now this is already wet, but I figure we can kind of dump this water over the other ones too to kind of give everything a head start here as far as watering. So I'm just going to break these up a little bit more, try to fluff it up a little bit. We'll see, actually this might absorb most of the water in here, if not all. These things really do have a good absorption rate, which is what I, one of the things I do like them. Four. So we're going to just add these in here. So it didn't quite dissolve all the way, so we're going to break it apart here. Now there are some advantages to these over, I think, uh, the soil, and that is both of these are already damp. Uh, the soil is going to be completely dry. It was sitting in a store. It's probably been sterilized. So it's probably not going to have a whole lot of real medium to grow. Now, probably for my pots, I will probably do a mixture of both of these. So I've, I do like these for seed starting. They're nice and light. They soak up water really well to keep the, plant, the uh, seeds nice and watered. And this is good for the nutrients it has, but at the same time, it also can sometimes dry out. Now, we're going to add this potting soil to this last one. So I'm taking just handfuls of potting soil in here, breaking it apart. Oh, it's just one handful, I guess. And you can see this is uh, looks like a decent soil. We'll see how it is, really. But after that, we're just going to leave take out some of this dirt in here. So we're, we're ready to go here. Actually, these all look a little higher. I'm gonna think, I think I'm going to add a little bit more of this uh, castings here to these. And then I kind of tap these down a little bit, but we'll add some of these castings here. Okay, so last thing now, 
seeds. So you can see the difference is pretty well, I feel. I mean, it's, it's really good here. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. There we go. So you can really see these well. I mean, you can see the differences. Like this one is kind of tight. This one's kind of airy. And this one has like no substance to it at all, it feels like. So what we're going to do is I'm going to plant first here. We're going to plant these romaine seeds. I'm just going to a whole bunch of them in here. So we're going to put a few in and we're going to put these in the front. So I'm going to take off my gloves here. And I'm just going to put a few seeds in. Each one of these, I'm going to kind of press them down in there a little bit. Because I, and whichever ones grow, we'll see, we'll just see how they grow and I have to admit, I don't plant stuff very often. This is my first year in a long time planting stuff because of the uh, fact that my HOA is kind of particular. So I'm going to need some more seeds here. I don't plant a whole lot of stuff anymore. But I, with this uh, temporary bin that I could put on my front porch, I'm allowed to use that, obviously, for planting. They can't really do anything about that. Let me grab a few more in here. So... All right, so this is our romaine. They will be sitting obviously in the same container. They will be watered consistently throughout this process. All right, so romaine in the front and now in the back, we're gonna put some watermelon. And as I said, I'm gonna be planting more stuff. This is just to try these out and see how the differences are. So this is the watermelon here. I'm opening that up. And the seeds are obviously a little bigger. So probably just gonna put one in here for these instead of the multiple like we did for the other ones. I'll push that down. I'm sure for those of you that do follow me uh, for more than just these videos, but uh, maybe some of the dog waste composting videos, I would never use dog waste in this type of process, okay? Uh, it's just not, that's not what it's meant for. There's a chance of actually picking up some pretty nasty stuff from that, so don't do that. All right, so those are done, and we're going to put this in the light. And we are going to see how well they uh, germinate and grow. So uh, you can see all the uh, colors, and we have the romaine lettuce in the front, watermelon in the back, and we're going to see how well this does. So we're this this is our new test, and I will probably try to check on this weekly. I will make sure that all of them are watered the same. In fact, I'm going to water them after this. I'm going to grab a container. I'm just going to sprinkle some water on them to get them ready. And we'll go from there. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or have any other suggestions for planting like this. As I said, I don't do this very often. And I'm sort of just testing this out. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. And if you can, please subscribe and like my videos. Thank you.